And he looks at me and I don't think I've ever heard him say, I just, I just want to, I need a salad. I need a salad <laughs> for dinner. Oh, I just need a salad. So. Look how well this works. They're craving the salads. But, but we are already um, getting, specifically Richie, uh, people are like, you're losing weight, man. A child's poop, uh, when it changes color, sorry about that, but you know, it, it's, uh, it shows it's whether or not it's healthy or not. And you notice that just after the second day, as you begin to live this lifestyle, you're gonna eat less and less junk food, less and less cheat meals, yeah. because you're gonna, your body's gonna feel it. You're gonna start to know when you put that food in your belly that isn't from the bib lifestyle, you're gonna feel it. Welcome back guys, I'm Jamie Graff and you're here with the bib lifestyle. This is week number six with Operation Richie and Lauren. And so let's just bring Lauren right on over here. How are you, Lauren? I'm good. Glad to have you back here for the end of the week uh, closing ceremony here for week yes. number six. Glad to be back. We've got the salad here, the beans and the grains. I'm gonna go ahead and just put those together for you guys for the uh, next couple days. And I would love for you to share with me what's going on with Richie. I know that we added this, uh, the root powders in this yes. week and then we added the trail mix as well. How is that doing for him? Um, it's so much better. Um, oh yeah. Yes, and even with the measured amount, he's um, he's doing well not to you know eat beyond that. So I feel like he's quite satiated. Um, uh, salad next this week was was really enjoyable. Excellent, so, excellent. You uh, told me no kale. You have a thing with kale, yeah. so I made sure not to put any Richie, kale in here. Richie too. He uh, he's got it in my head. He he's the one who made me hate kale. But once I started realizing like I hate kale mm -hmm. from him telling me that. I, I think I've made my own, uh, come to my own conclusion that I hate kale. Okay. So, so I appreciate now, it. Now, is it is it that bold of a taste when you're <laughs> eating a salad with your delicious dressing on it and everything? You really, it really pulls through? You know, I think with kale, sometimes it has to be really kneaded, you know, like in a, in a salad, like raw. Okay. Um, and then also too, um, you know, some, sometimes the flavor can be very earthy. Mm -hmm. and, yes. Um, depending on the ingredients, I think with the kale is it can feel a little too earthy and then it's, you know, a little tough. So, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I realize I am, I am not a fan. Like once, um, as, as we've mentioned, Richie was a chef. Mm-hmm. And there's things that I've come to appreciate as I eat food um, and recognize that I would have never picked up, and, okay. and, you know, as a normal everyday person just eating food. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, things to pay attention to, you know, textures, yada, yada, et cetera. So um, I've definitely become like a little more... Uh, aware. aware. So I think, I think that's what it is. I know a lot of people still really love kale. Um, you know, after this finishes and we start making our own salads, you know, that's, that's probably the only thing we, we won't be using is, uh, is kale. So okay. that having said that you've done really, really well. I'm, I'm still like, I love the cilantro. Um, there's just something about that cilantro. Oh, the salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's, yeah, no, Richie's doing really, really well. Um, he, so we had some pizza over the weekend on Saturday okay. for lunch, um, and dinner was starting to, you know, dinner was, was, was on our minds, and he looks at me, and I don't think I've ever heard him say, oh, I just, he goes, fucking graph, he goes, I just, I just want to, I need a salad. I need a <laughs> salad for dinner. So we, we ordered quinoa, arugula, Char-broiled salmon for for dinner. I mean, granted, it's a really, really good salad. And that was for a cheat meal, that right? That was for a weekend cheat meal. Look at that, guys. So, Look how well this works. They're craving the salads. And and again, just more like once um, once the you know you just you, you really you really don't like it. Really is you know kind of uh, the nutrients are. They're working, they're, they're effective. Working, yeah. they're, they're reprogramming your brain 
They're reprogramming your body and your brain. It's your gut. Your gut is connected to your brain. So when the gut is getting the nutrients, it's sending the proper healthy messages to the brain. It's like you're building, a, as I said before, the newer, healthier, best version of you through food. So your choice is everything begins to change with all areas of your life, you know? Yeah, and what I really like about, you know, you having said that is I know I mentioned to you in just conversation is there's another diet, or like not a diet, but like uh, this isn't a diet, but there's a diet program or life lifestyle that's called GAPS, Gut and Psychology Syndrome. So, you know, if anybody out there is going, oh, gra you know, Jamie, he's, oh, uh, sure, sure, sure. There's other lifestyles and diets that are showing the correlation between the psychology and your gut. So for me, when we had initially, you'd asked us to come on board, for me, it was kind of a no brainer. And when you said that, I was like, yeah. And, you know, it just, it solidifies even more that, that is, that, that, that's a true correlation. Yes, absolutely. So I really appreciate that. And, 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 you know, this is proof of that for yeah. me. And I actually, I meant to say, I kind of did a little bit of the gaps back in the day and, um, yeah, so. That's great to yeah. hear. So, so share with me a little bit more about Richie. What's, what's he going through? What's he telling you? I know he can't be with here us, yeah. with us today. So fill us in. So again, back to the psychology thing. I just, I've noticed, um, again, just like the, the, the need, the craving to cheat, like his brain is, is, uh, it's just, it's becoming rewired. He's still human and he yeah. still like has that chef, that you know, right? yeah. ten tendency, yeah. but, um, I think it's more if we're like, we're tired, you know? And, 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 and that's coming from a guy who on regularly <laughs> share with me, how often was he a big meat eater? Oh, gosh. Was it every meal, every oh. day, twice a day? Oh yeah. I had to be, yeah. I had to tell him be like, Hey, like, let's try not to do meat for breakfast or, you know, or for our, cause you know, we, we wouldn't eat till later anyway, like our brunch, you know, um, I'd have to like. You know, don't, don't <laughs> stop, stop putting meat in that. Like, yeah. like pull back on the meat. Um, so yeah, he, he's doing really well. Excellent. Now, did he share with you anything about the root powders? Did he, did it have any, did he, did he notice something on the first one? I know I gave you guys just three of them for this week yeah. to introduce that to your bodies because I know how powerful they are for the body. Did he give you any, did he notice anything that he shared with you about those? Um, I don't, I'm not sure he, I remember him saying that what, you know, it was nice. It wasn't as strong as he thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. The flavor, flavor yeah, wise. Flavor yeah. Profile. Um, I believe I did put a little bit of uh, some coconut sugar in oh, there okay. to, to sweeten them <laughs> to up for you guys. It. Exactly. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, no, he just, he's, you know, it's nice. Like even today I just, you know, silently normally like, you know, the first few weeks, especially he'd be like. Uh, or kind of grunting or grumbling, but you know, he'd do it. And then you kind of like, I think it's a psychology thing. Like you got to get past the fact mm -hmm. that it's like all veggies, all this. And, mm -hmm. um, he just silently mid morning, just boiling his water to do the root powder. And, um, yeah, I, I think just overall, like with everything, like incorporating it, like his energy, um, his mood is, is up for sure. Excellent. Excellent. It sounds like he's really excited and going to follow through with this as, as yeah. well once we're all completed here after the eight weeks. I don't think we have a choice anymore. Excellent. I don't think he has a choice because he felt so sick on Saturday after the pizza. Wow. I okay. did too, but he yeah. was like, like I said, he was the one who was like, oh, I just need a salad. So Fantastic. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we went ahead and put the salads together for them. You just heard what Lauren had to say about for Richie. And so we're going to go ahead and get out the fruit, put these fruit bowls together. And then Lauren is going to share with you guys everything that's on her mind and what she's been experiencing. Can't wait. Stay tuned. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to follow my channel. We'll be right back. All right, we're back with the fruit platter here. As you see how beautiful this looks, I cut everything up. We're going to go ahead and pull Lauren out here and put these fruit bowls together. So Lauren, step on out. Hello. Well, welcome back. Thanks again for just sharing all that incredible information with, about Richie. Now, let's talk about you. What have you been experiencing uh, over the past couple days with the new uh, uh, root powders and seeds? And um, I mean, root powders and the trail mix. Um. I have noticed that I, as I, 
personally, um, I feel like I'm getting enough food now, finally, um, where those afternoon cravings that I know we had talked about, and he's been, he's been nursing um, a little more frequently again, um, not as much as the other week when I was like, you, you know, kind of a little worried. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really yeah, two weeks, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. really trying to, trying to struggling for Add the a little afternoon. bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but and, and sorry, sorry yeah. to interrupt, but during that week, so I went ahead and if you guys follow my Instagram, I make all these incredible protein bars uh, that are all natural with just a few ingredients. And I went ahead and brought a few of those because she needed a little extra food. And how were those? What did, how did oh those treat gosh, you? Those were so good. Oh yeah, excellent. Happy to hear that. Yeah, that, like little meals. Mm-hmm, yeah, very so. dense and, and packed with, packed with uh, very fulfilling. Um, he had to tell me not to eat them all in one sitting. And to be honest, um, you know, old habits, again, I'm a healthy eater. I'm not a snacker, but sometimes when you have a really good, especially sweets, I know a lot of us have a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. If you have a brownie or something that's like, you know, sweet could be a snack type of thing. You tend to eat a few more, but, um, you know, you said don't eat them all. And honestly, I think I had like two, two and a half and I was like, you know what? I'm good. So... I, I didn't feel the need to, to keep going, so. Because I also wanted you, because I know when I gave those to you, I actually pulled them out of the oven that night and oh, yeah. let them cool off. Yes. And so we make those with fresh fruits. I think I had strawberries, banana, and blueberries mm -hmm. in there. So you wanna put them in the refrigerator, but not until they completely cool off, because um, when it's hot, you want it to cool down all the way before you put it into the refrigerator, because it's gonna, it's gonna interfere with the, the density of it and make it softer. If, if it's too hot and it goes into the refrigerator and it still has that heat, it's gonna add that moisture and it's gonna water it down. So that's why we like to cool it off and then it actually tastes better in the morning it when it's colder with those fruits inside there. It, it truly did. So I'm glad you, yes, you said wait, try it in the morning, but to be honest, like even if I had wanted to keep going, I, it was, they were so dense that, um, that I, I didn't feel the need to. Essentially, excellent, excellent. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. So we, so the root powders. What about yourself? What about what time did you start uh, taking drinking the root powders? I would say late morning. Sometimes I, my keeping track with the little one, uh, but I, I would try to wait till like mid morning um, to to do it. And um, yeah, I was doing some root powder, like I, Chinese herbs, uh, when I was pregnant. So um, to be honest, I, I kind of had a um, I kind of had, uh, my, my, an awareness to what it could taste like and it wasn't as bad as I thought. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. um, when Richie came home and said, it's like a, it's like a tea, I tried to think of it that way and it, and it softened it all for me. So, nice. um, it wasn't, it wasn't nearly as bad as the, um, Chinese herbs from the acupuncturist. Those were freaking awful. And what was your experience with it? Did you feel an energy boost? Did you feel a lasting energy throughout the day? Yeah, you did know. Did you notice that? I did. Actually, if, you, if I think about it now, um, I did. We had another few rough days of sleep um, with Wiley. And um, you know what, I, I actually um, had energy in the evenings, which is kind of felt kind of new mm -hmm. so um and i was going to bed around 10 or 11 which is also very new because normally we're like by eight or nine o'clock you know we are kind of like uh winding down and uh i kind of had to like make myself go to bed because then i don't want to get caught in the middle of like a you know a, a wake up and a feed so mm -hmm. um so yeah it was yeah, I would say I actually was able to stay up later. And did that suppress your appetite as well? Or did you did you notice th yeah. whether or not, like, you know after what? you drank it, you weren't really hungry? You know what, until... actually, you're right, because I didn't really have my fruit bowls till like, 2 o'clock. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't feel as, yeah, I just didn't feel as hungry. And I think there was one day I, I don't think I even had... Uh... The salad or the fruit bowl. Maybe, I don't think I finished all my fruit bowl. Yeah? Yeah. So. Okay. That's because your body is, is now getting so many nutrients that it's 
the, the, the organs aren't saying, I need something. And that's how the bib, bib lifestyle works is we're overcompensating, we're cramming the body full of nutrients so that we don't get those hunger cravings because that's what those cravings are. When you feel hungry, it's, a new, it's the body telling you it needs a nutrient. And if you're not actually eating food with nutritional value, it's you're just going to keep overeating and overeating. Yeah. So yeah, that's great. That's that's great to hear. You know, I've got your fruit bowls right here. Great. Now I'm going to give you another apple for each one of great. you guys. I already put the apples on these ones, which you know you want to make sure you eat yeah. those tomorrow because they're going to oxidize a little bit faster than the rest of the fruit. Uh, these ones look delicious. I know that I was a little short last week, but I gave you some extra fruit to take home with you guys. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and clean this mess up. Then we're going to put everything together. And we still have a little bit more to talk about with Lauren. Stay tuned because uh, you are going to want to hear what she has to say. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Bib Lifestyle here with Operation Lauren and Richie. I'm Jamie Graff and this is what we have for Richie and Lauren for Wednesday, I mean Thursday and Friday. Lauren, so please Tell everybody out there, you know, the most important thing that you were worried about when we first started pro, uh, this program, this lifestyle, was for your baby, for lactation, for the breast milk, to make sure he was going to get the nutrients that he needed. And you noticed after the second day, you know, a child's poop, uh, when it changes color, sorry about that, but, <laughs> you know, it, it's, uh, it shows it's whether or not it's healthy or not. And you notice that just after the second day. So what's going on these days? We're already uh, six and a half weeks in. Is everything still going well? Are you... Everything is, is going great. Um, you brought me the bars because I had noticed in the evening, nothing noticeable that um, he, it was probably affecting him, but I had just noticed, like I would pump, you know, cause Richie does a feed. Um, I was pumping and the supply was, was a couple ounces lower. Okay. Still within a healthy range, but just for what we're used to pumping. Um, so that's when I reached out to you and I had said, I, I, I think I need a little something. Um, I had a, one of my best girlfriends reached out to a nutritionist uh, back in the fall after she gave birth. The nutritionist cut her down to these, this crazy amount of like calories that was like way too low for her breastfeeding, completely, you know, screwed her, her supply like mm -hmm. to, to a level that was like, you know, it was affecting unhealthy, the, unhealthy for the yeah. child. She was almost not lactating. Um, Unfortunately, the nutritionist didn't know she was breastfeeding. So having said that, that was always my concerns from yeah. the get-go. And even still, I trust I trusted you, but I definitely always was like a little trepidatious or had a little, you know, apprehension um, in the beginning. But as I'm like still, you know, doing this, except for the week, two weeks ago when I needed the bars, mm -hmm. um, now it's back up. Excellent, Adding excellent. Adding the trail mix, I feel like definitely has has helped. So whilst, you know, it's not these crazy calories and carbs, my supply is where it needs to be. Excellent. And his his poop is still mustard yellow, which is which means very, very healthy. So very good. So happy to hear that. It gives me goosebumps <laughs> right now to hear her say that because I know how powerful this is. I've been in this health and business fitness industry for 29 years and I have never experienced such more amazing results on my body and my health than from living the bib lifestyle. And that's why it's so important for me just to share this information with you guys. I'm not giving you any BS. I'm not asking you for anything. I'm showing you how easy easy it is. I'm bringing on mm -hmm. friends of mine. Eventually, I'm going to be bringing on random strangers, which could be you. Who knows? Because I'm going to start holding auditions here real soon, looking for the next season of the Bib Lifestyle. And each and every week, you're going to see that you're hearing the same positive results from everybody that's on this show. And I can't wait for the world just to see it and hear it all. Yeah, and you know, I, I wanted to add too is I went to um, a coffee date with a girlfriend and um, I had just a coffee and she, it was this lovely French bistro in Los Feliz and there was all these croque monsieurs and madames, you know, fly, flying by the table and normally most people you break down, even myself, like I cave, you know, like I'm human. I don't eat like that at home. So sometimes I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I'm at a restaurant after Saturday and the pizza. Literally, I was like, 
could this be my cheat day? And I thought about it for two seconds and I was like, no, I'm good. And I wasn't even sitting there and like all these people have like these amazing looking dishes. It's a very, very mm -hmm. popular little cafe. Yeah. And it, again, it, I didn't feel that like, oh my God, maybe I should, you know what? I'm going to do it. Like I like thought about it and I was like, is this going to be my cheat meal? No, I'm good. And so that was like, that was, I felt like such a huge like revelation for me. Yeah. Very powerful for you to have that control and just be aware of that. And, and, but and not that, you know, that the, like that urge. go back and forth. Yeah. And like, yeah. Oh, you know, maybe I will. Uh, like it was like a thought and I was like, yeah, I think I'm good. And, and I believe I mentioned that earlier in, in, in one of the first couple episodes that as you begin to live this lifestyle, you're going to eat less and less junk food, less and less cheat meals yeah. because you're gonna, your body's going to feel it. You're going to start to know Horrible. when you put that food in your belly that isn't from the bib lifestyle, you're going to feel it. You're going to start to notice what it's actually doing, which when we eat unhealthy, we're unaware of it because there's so many different things going on inside the body that we're just not aware. We're not conscious about it. You know, we're not thinking about it. We don't, we don't even know. Most people don't even know about it, you know? Yeah. You know, it's funny. My, my mom's here and I was telling her too. I was, I was saying, um, what you were saying is like, you're not aware of it. And I was like, mom, you know how like everyone knows my self control, but even again, I'm human. And I was even telling her, I was like, it's interesting, like how I feel like there's just a big shift in how I even like, like, will order from here on out or even like I said how we did order you know we had that one yeah. cheat meal and we were like oh my god this is the worst thing ever you know yes so yeah it's like it's you know these little revelations that kind of keep popping up and they you know they may be subtle but then you know they're kind of like a in a they're kind of a, in a big lifestyle kind of way like it, it's really going to affect how I s start ordering the, cheat my cheat for the, meal for the future yeah yeah, yeah. so I want to ask, have you guys been taking your pictures each and every week? Yes. Excellent. Happy to hear that. You guys are going to see the results here in just two more weeks. We're finishing up week number six right now. Um, how is that coming along? Are you noticing a difference? Are you seeing good changes? I am, except for if you if you have the cheat meal on the Sunday, then you feel the... Oh, the, oh, the, 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 for the photo that evening. I yeah, because we're taking it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think the, the, the first and the last are going to be the... Um, but, but, but we are already um, getting, specifically Richie... Uh, people are like, you're losing weight, man. So, and he's, you know, feeling good. Good. I've, I've been back. I've worked out already three times this week, which is great. Excellent. Again, you know, with the baby, it yeah. can be, and no health, it can be a lot. But this is, I feel like, such a blessing in, in getting to, to do this because, I, like, I, I, I'm seeing it. You know, and well, the food is a workout as well. Like yeah. that's the most important thing. When you're when you're doing exercise, if you're not eating the right foods, you are not going to see the results on your body. It all comes down oh, to the yeah. food. You can spend hours in the gym, but if you don't put the right foods in your body, you will see no results. And I was going to say about the photos, maybe you guys could just take them early Sunday morning. Yeah. Before we get to the, you get to the cheat meals. True. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, here yeah. we go. Ending off week number six with Lauren and Richie. We've got some incredible bowls here for her. They're going to take them and enjoy them for the next couple days. We'll see you back on Sunday for week number seven. And guys, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is the Bib Lifestyle. Be your best body.